And welcome to Old Trafford, a stadium buzzing with expectancy as Manchester United seek to get 1989 off on the right footing with, they hope, a winning performance against Liverpool, still the biggest test of all. However, United arrive in good heart, fresh from a home win and an impressive performance against Nottingham Forest. Besides the same one, no shortage of youngsters, but then, of course, that's the United tradition. Lee Martin at right back is 20, Lee Sharp at left back only 17, but the youngster now beginning to catch the eye at number five is 20-year-old Russell Beardsmore, now operating in the centre of midfield alongside Brian Robson. Up front, United again looking for goals from Mark Hughes, nine in the last 13, but he's never scored a lead goal against Liverpool. Paul McGrath, after a long knee injury, is one of United's subs. The bad news for Liverpool is that Ian Rush has still not recovered from a groin injury. Top scorer John Aldridge gets that striker's spot. David Burrows is their recent defensive signing from West Brom. Peter Beardsley once allowed to go on a free transfer from Old Trafford. Jan Mulby, one of the Liverpool subs. And the referee today, Ray Lewis of Great Bookham in Surrey. It's his first day as a referee on the FIFA international list. A great crowd looking forward to an afternoon that could be of some significance for United as Ray Lewis now prepares to get this first division game underway. Liverpool in that silver blue strip of theirs, a chain strip, attacking the goal to our left. Here's Robson for Manchester United, who've lost only one at home this season, remember, that against Norwich City. Strachan operating away on the right hand side. Liverpool having uh, lost only one of the last nine, come brimful of confidence. That defeat, of course, an extraordinary night in the Littlewoods Cup at West Ham. Now they're on the move with Beardsley. Stopped that time by Donaghy. Picked up now by Burrows. Houghton on the far side. McMahon, who could have a lot of work and a big influence in the midfield for Liverpool this afternoon. Houghton again. Now Beardsley. His incentive is enormous to do well at Old Trafford where he was allowed to go on that free transfer but in goes Robson finding Lee Martin forward towards Hughes very closely watched by Nicol who disputes the award of that free kick but a moment here now for Manchester United Strachan's behind it, McClare number nine's behind it And the crowd are behind United as well. Robson close at hand, wanting the ball back 10 yards, as does the referee. Strachan shot, too high. Donaghy caught a little off balance. Beardsley. Getting support from Houghton, but the ball out of play. United thought it was their throw. Linesman and referee say the throw goes to Liverpool. Taken by Burrows, the number six. And the shot too high from Whelan. Both defences naturally with great respect for the opposing forward lines, and it's a little bit cautious at the moment. Mill now getting past Houghton, knocking in a good cross, it was Staunton who got it away, not very far. Strachan shot charged down, Ablett there at the back for Liverpool, and United get a throw. Little Strachan with it. Martin onto the left foot, trying to reach Hughes with it, dangerous in this sort of circumstance, but it's McMahon getting into trouble and a brilliant save by Hooper really all of Liverpool's making and uh, McClare getting in a shot helped there by Robson and an astounding piece of goalkeeping Beardsmore just saw a shot of Strachan there, he's clearly in a lot of trouble. 
Barnes though moving very freely but then allowed too much of it to be shown to Martin and it's a throw but before that can be taken yes hobbling out of the picture is Gordon Strachan and on comes Mark Robbins just 19 years old a striker for Manchester United having a prolific season in the reserve sad sight that though to see a Strachan going off it looks as though it may be a calf muscle injury Barnes cleared by Bruce here's Hughes and he and Robbins not on the same wavelength there Robson touching it through now Robbins gets the ball for McClare and Robbins again a chance for United and he hadn't quite got the finishing touch but a movement that was full of promise there for Manchester United opened up in the first place by McClare and uh, Little Mark Robbins didn't quite have maybe the determination and the experience to shake off that Liverpool defence and get a worthwhile shot in. Brian Robson. Played again for Lee Sharp. Robson again. Now McClare. Dink forward by him towards Robbins. United in a bit of trouble here. And it was Hughes with one of those characteristic volleys of his. That time falling straight into the arms of Mike Hooper. McMahon looked for a moment to be running into trouble. And again, United almost in a position to exploit some muddled thinking in that Liverpool defence now Bruce losing out to Houghton played in by him to Beardsley can this be danger it could well be no well saved though I think it was McClare right back there of all people who've been setting up some good moves up front for Manchester United and now their saviour back in their six yard area to be taken by Ray Houghton for Liverpool short to Barnes Houghton to Staunton McMahon now spreading it wide to the far side Whelan's out there Beardsley, Whelan but again United break it up with Ralph Milne didn't really play that firmly enough to get it through to Hughes but look at the work of Robson and suddenly McClare now down the right for Manchester United played inside and Ablett there for Liverpool coming right to half time and a promising looking break there by Manchester United inspired in the first place by the tenacity of Robson in defence and McClare taking the challenge up well. Here's United's corner. Bruce up there on the far side. And there's the half-time whistle. And United will not be displeased. Nil-nil it is. But the better chances, such as they've been, have fallen to Manchester United. One great save by Hooper from McClare. But at half-time then at Old Trafford, Manchester United nil, Liverpool nil. So United then preparing to get the second half underway. Mark Robbins, the substitute on for the injured Gordon Strachan. United then attacking the goal to our left. With Staunton to take the throw for Liverpool. Barnes gets up. Aldridge fairly muted performance there by Aldridge so far this afternoon and goes Robson very quickly Milne trying to play it forward succeeds at the second attempt Nickel cutting it out though for Liverpool Beardsley 
and Lee Martin getting it away left foot to Hughes for Manchester United shoves into McMahon and yet the free kick is given United's way and Brian Robson waiting to take it feel the game just needs a spark really to get it going now McClare playing it forward to Hughes Beardsmore now down that right flank with Strachan off the field gets it to McClare a terrific shot there superbly saved by Mike Hooper in fact you really had to look twice at that to feel that it wasn't uh, Mark Hughes so good was the volley and indeed the cross from Russell Beardsmore as well an excellent cross a superb volley and a fine piece of goalkeeping Here's the corner. Robson didn't reach it. And maybe that's just the spark we wanted really to get this game going. Here's more again. Here's his cross. Robson knocking it down. Hughes for once failing on the volley. That's certainly a stirring opening to the second half for Manchester United. Staunton Freedom Beardsley out to Barnes as Liverpool come forward again taking on Martin looking to get to the byline but Martin stuck with him well Liverpool's firepower of late has been blunted only once in their last 10 games have they managed more than a single goal and that's so unlike them and they're being well and at the moment fairly comfortably held by this Manchester United defence at Old Trafford today Donaghy ducking in to get that one away to Brian McClare Beardsmore's wide of him a great surging run there by McClare taken up by Hughes now for Manchester United Robbins just inside him it falls to Robbins Hughes with the shot just wide of the Liverpool goal crowd here today 44,745 Manchester United's second largest gate of the season the shot by Houghton well taken by Leighton Ablett Beardsley versus Bruce and Beardsley gets the better of this one this could be a problem for United but Aldridge couldn't uh, make it at the end some very good defending there by Donaghy and by Leighton McMahon playing it in oh was it a penalty no the referee had a good look at it and turned away to the anguish of Aldridge and of Liverpool that really must have been touch and go a hairline decision there by referee Ray Lewis and Liverpool might well feel a little aggrieved that uh, Aldridge didn't get a penalty there Robson Beardsmore and Ablett away wasn't the best of passes there by Russell Beardsmore to be honest but every time he gets the ball you can't fail to notice just how comfortable he is with it at his feet in no way seems to be embarrassed by it whatever the occasion and they don't come much bigger than this in the first division Hughes oh he's hit the post Robbins and a brilliant save there by Hooper and United desperately close to getting that vital opening goal after Hughes who hadn't hit it firmly to be fair smacked the post and Robbins following in found his excellent shot superbly saved by Hooper and cut out quite easily there not the best of passes by Paul McGrath his Liverpool in possession 
McMahon getting it through to Beersley. Barnes making good strides down that left flank. It comes to John Barnes now for Liverpool. And it's a goal for Liverpool. Well, Beardsley at the moment may not be able to score them, but a supreme provider there for that ace marksman, John Barnes. The final pass was a beauty, and the finishing could not have been more clinical. And Liverpool, with 70 minutes gone, are in the lead. A blow for United, who've had more of the game. And just how will they respond to that? So often in the past, we've seen how Liverpool, latish in the game, get a lead and stifle the life out of their opponents. And no doubt they'll seek to do that again. They're so hard to beat at the best of times that when they're up near the end, then it's really difficult. Let's see how United respond. Here's Hughes. Here's more away on the far side. Donaghy taking it up. Now Russell Beardsmore. Looking to get his cross in. Towards McClare! A marvellous volley! And it's 1-1! A fantastic goal there by Brian McClare. And what a response then from Manchester United. Two goals in two minutes. Has really got this game going now. Well, we'd seen earlier in the game his volleying potential. And I said then that it was so reminiscent of Mark Hughes. Hughes himself would have been proud of a volley like that. McMahon. The battle really swaying from one end to the other now as Beardsley takes it up. Tries to set McMahon up this time. Beardsmore's got back, but not far enough. Good work there by Leighton. There's more. Crowd are really enjoying this one. Nickel in a bit of trouble there. It comes off Hughes. He scores. 2-1 to United. Mark Hughes, the scorer. The first time he's ever scored a lead goal against Liverpool. And the Stratford end would tell you he couldn't have chosen a better moment. Again, a bit of muddle in that Liverpool defence. Of all people, Steve Nicholl, charged down by Mark Hughes. And what a finish off the elbow of Mike Hooper. Now let's see how Liverpool can respond. It's an old saying in football that they're never more dangerous than when they're cornered. Well, they are well and truly cornered at Old Trafford this afternoon. Here comes Burrows. But Beardsley didn't read that properly. A delightful little touch by Robson. And here come United again. But Ablett touching it down for Nickel. Robson picking up the loose ball. Trying to get it moving again towards Mark Hughes. Two watching him, but he gets support now from Milne. Played inside this time for Sharp. Can he get to the byline and get his cross in? Flicked across. Oh my goodness, it's Bismore! It's free! An astonishing comeback by Manchester United. Just seven minutes ago, they were a goal down to Liverpool. And now, astonishingly, 3-1 up. Lee Sharp's part is important. The cross came in. And Beardsmore, who's had a wonderful game, put it wide of Hooper into the net. And while we're waiting for the kickoff, Jan Mulby comes on as the Liverpool substitute. But the cries are all for Manchester United at the moment. Milne taking it up as they look to make it four. Four goals in a matter of seven minutes here at Old Trafford. As the United management on the bench just count off the last few seconds of what will be a glorious victory for United. 
It's always a barnstorming game when they play Liverpool. And this goes down in the records as one of the best. McClare, Hughes and Beardsmore, the scorers, after Barnes had put Liverpool ahead. Manchester United 3, Liverpool 1.